I think the first way you will know that that diary means in your farm is the uh, little little spots that we see on the old leaves of your uh, your your cucumber. At the lower bottom leaves, you start seeing yellow spots on it. And the way to know that that one is particularly standing with you is when you flip the leaf over. You see it's the spots of like dampening at the uh, behind or under the leaves. You see dampening spots on it. That's how we really identify with our eyes that there is presence of dampening medium in our form. Downy middle looks like this, while powdery middle looks like this. So, um, downy middle is mostly hard when you have high humidity, and when the um, um, the environment is very wet and you know there's a lot of moisture. You have downy middle is more like goes with wet the wet uh, season, while powdery usually goes with the dry season. When the weather is very dry, you now have things like powder, black powder, you know, on the leaves of your plant. Yeah, both of them are very bad, but they are different. Yeah, like I said, it's a disease that um, thrives in high humidity. One of the ways is to make sure like overhead watering, you, uh, uh, little or no overhead watering of your plant. Second way is a proper spacing of your plant. Third way is to try to plant a resistant variety. Uh, plant a seed that does not have um, the pathogens in it. Yeah, I think another way you can also prevent is to have a very healthy soil. If the plants are healthy they would not be susceptible to most of these um, diseases okay yeah the best way to cure down the is um, the first is cut the infected leaves off and the number two way is to you know spray fungicide First thing you can do is, like I said earlier, prevent, take up measures to prevent it. You know, give a good space into your plant, put enough organic matter in your soil, um, try to avoid overhead watering. Even if you want to do overhead watering, try to do it in the evening. What do I mean by overhead watering? The use of sprinklers or hose and you know water is pouring on the plant and the leaves of the plant. You know, you do that in the morning so that before evening they have dried up, you know. Then in a situation where you have seen the disease in your plant, the best practice would be to cut off all infected leaves and start spraying the necessary chemicals to control the disease. Yeah, organic matter is important in you know um, the soil because what we want to do is to try and as much as possible to have a healthy soil because when the soil is healthy the plants would naturally have uh, natural immunity to some of these diseases so it's not like it's going to be specific to downy mildew but we encourage farmers who have disease problem in different parts of their farm to use organic matter so that they can the plants can have natural immunity while it's not going to stop the disease, but it can help to um, to limit the damage of the disease on the plants. There are three chemicals that are more popular for the control of downy mildew. One is copper oxide. One another is mancozeb, and the third one is chlorothalonil. So if you have these three, um, any of the products that have this as active ingredients can be used in the control of uh, downy medium. But then of course, the others 
our can also the other products like in our nigerian market the other products that we also use that contain other active ingredients and it works you know for some time the important thing to note about fungicides is that it's not encouraged you're not encouraged to use one single fungicide on your plants throughout your planting season because the fungi would can grow natural resistance to that particular active ingredient so we encourage farmers to alternate different fungicides during the growing season so that the fungi, the fungi cannot, will not develop you know, um, the resistance to those um, or any particular fungicide.